This lesson focuses on weight within a word problem. So we are learning to read and solve a numeracy word problem. And what I'm looking for, well, we're going to have lots of weight conversions. We're going to do some working out using the rucksack method. And where possible, we're going to employ a bar model to help us solve the question. Dylan is baking again. He has one kilogram of flour and uses 300 grams. How much flour has he got left? Well, this question is asking us to do a little bit of converting. So we need to realize that one kilogram is the same as 1000 grams. And now we can look at that in a bar model, which will help us to work out our answer. If we had 1000 grams, and we're told that Dylan uses 300 grams, we are asked to work out this missing bit and we can do so with a subtraction sum. So we take our 1000 and we're going to take away 300. Zero take away zero is zero. Zero take away zero is zero. Zero take away three we cannot do. So we're going to do some exchange. 10 take away three is seven. Our answer is 700 grams. At birth, a puppy weighs 700 grams. A year later, it weighs 600 grams more. How much does it weigh now? So let's underline some of the important bits. So at birth, it weighed 700 grams. A year later, 600 grams more. We have to work out how much it weighs now. Again, we can look at it in a bar model. So if we have the original 700 grams that it weighed at birth, a year later, it weighed 600 grams more. So we have to work out the total that will tell us what it weighs now. So this can be done with an addition sum. We have our 700 grams plus 600 grams. We'll read ourselves at a vertical sum. 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, 7 plus 6 is 13, and that's in grams. The question may on occasion ask you to convert that into kilograms, so let's look at that. We know that 1 kilogram is 1,000 grams. If we look at our answer, there is 1 in the thousands, telling me there's 1 kilogram, and there are 300 grams. A packet of crisps weighs 30 grams each. How heavy are four packets of crisps? So again, let's underline our important bits. One packet of crisps is 30 grams. We have to work out how heavy four packets are. So again, with the bar model, we have a, the original bag being 30 grams. Second bag, 30 grams. Third bag, 30 grams. And the fourth bag is 30 grams we have to work out the total. So we can use an addition sum. So it's just 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30. Or a quicker method would be to do some multiplication. So we have our 30 grams and we can multiply that by four. Both questions will give us the same answer, so we'll check both. Starting with my multiplication question, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 3 is 12, 120 grams. Checking that and comparing it to my addition, 0, 0, 0 and 0 all add up to give me 0. Then I've got 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, which does indeed give me 12, so both answers are identical. James O uses a fifth of a kilogram of sugar to bake a cake. How much sugar did he use? So this question is just asking us to do a little bit of converting. It wants us to figure out what a fifth of a kilogram is in grams. So we know that one kilogram is 1000 grams. Well, I have to find a fifth of that. So I have to find a fifth of 1000. 
and I do so by carrying out a division sum. So I take my 1000 grams and I divide it by 5. I would like you to do the working out for me and we'll come back and see if we get the correct answer together. At this point you can pause your video and do your working out. So let's look at our sum then. 5 into 1 does not go. 5 into 10 goes twice. 5 into 0 is 0. 5 into 0 is 0. So my answer, 1 fifth of a kilogram is 200 grams. A chocolate roll weighs 2 kilograms. Alicia cuts it into 5 equal pieces. How heavy is each piece? So let's do a little bit of underlining of our important pieces of information. It weighs 2 kilograms. It's cut into 5 equal pieces. We have to work out how heavy is each piece. So if we imagine the chocolate roll, and we know that it is 2 kilograms, and it was cut into 5 pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we know that each of these have to be the same. So they are each a fifth of the two kilograms. So the question is asking us to work out what is one fifth of two kilograms. And two kilograms we have to convert and it's 2,000 grams. So our sum is five into 2,000. Again, at this point, I would like you to work out the answer for me, so you can pause the video and do your working out. Let's look at the sum then. 5 into 2 does not go. 5 into 20, there are 4 of them. 5 into 0 is 0. 5 into 0 is 0. So my answer... 400 and that is in grams. So each piece of the cake would have been 400 grams. A jam jar holds 659 grams. Connor uses 75 grams. How much jam has he got left? Okay, so let's underline our important pieces of information. Jam jar holds 659 grams. He uses 75 grams. We have to work out what he has left. So our original jam jar is 659 grams. Connor uses 75 grams. We have to work out what's left. So it's a subtraction sum. 659 and we're taking away 75. Okay, you can pause here and do the working out. I'll come back and see if we got the same answer together. Okay, starting on the right side, which is our units, we've got 9 take away 5 is 4. 5 take away 7 we cannot do, so we do some exchange. I've got 15 take away 7 is 8. 5 take away 0 is 5, and that is in grams. And that's our answer. That is how much jam he has left over. A packet of biscuits weighs 300 grams. How heavy are 20 packets of the biscuits? So the question is basically asking us to work out that if one packet weighs 300 grams, how heavy will 20 packets be? So it's a multiplication sum. We have one packet weighing 300, and we want to work out what the weight of 20 of them are. Now there are a few different ways to do this sum. First way I'm going to suggest, we're going to partition our 20 into 10 and 10. So if we multiply 300 by 10, giving us 3000. And again, 300 multiplied by 10 gives us 3000. Then all I've got to do is to add my two answers, giving me 6,000 grams. 
which would be our answer. And we can try out another method. We've got the original 300 by 20. If I multiply 300 by 2, giving me 600, and then I can put on the zero. Again, matches up 6,000 grams. Or, if we're asked to convert, 6 kilograms. A bag has 8 packets of crisps. Each packet weighs 30 grams. What is the weight of 6 packets? Now this question sometimes throws people because it has more information than we actually need. The fact that we are told that it has 8 packets of crisps in the bag is irrelevant to the question. What we do need to know is that a packet weighs 30 grams and we're asked to work out the weight of 6 of them. If you want to imagine we have 30 grams, 30 grams, 30 grams, 30 grams, another 30, another 30. We have 6 of them. So it's asking us to work out 30 times 6. We can write ourselves out a vertical sum. At this point, you can pause the video and work out the answer, come back and we'll check our working out together. Let's have a look at our sum then. So 30 multiplied by 6. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 3 is 18. So 6 packets of the crisps would be 180 grams. This box weighs 3,500 grams. It has glue sticks inside. Each glue stick weighs 70 grams. So there is our box. We're told that it's got glue sticks inside and each of them are 70 grams. How many glue sticks are in the box? So we know that the box weighs 3 thousand five hundred grams. We're then told that it holds glue sticks each of them weighs 70 grams. So using a division sum we can work out how many glue sticks are in that box. Now 70 into 3500 is quite a tricky sum but simply by removing a zero here and removing a zero here our sum becomes a lot easier. So we now have seven into 35, 7 into 35 goes 5 times, and then 7 into 0 is 0. That tells us then that there are 50 glue sticks inside of the box.